weekend once again and that only means one thing. Weekends are great for going out but it's also perfect for learning a new sport. Oh, are you in luck because we get to do both every week only here on Game Day Weekend. Again, buddy, Nico, anong, what's been keeping you busy since the end of the UAP season? Um, tuloy -tuloy ako since UAP, mm -hmm. from ano, UAP to D League, dire -dire right. So, yeah. ngayon, nasa happy, ako, happy fresh fighters. Mm -hmm. And yun, nasa season kami ngayon. Okay. Condition. Condition to. <laughs> well, Nico, we know that you come from a family of boxers, as uh, evident a while ago. But aside from basketball and boxing, what other sports do you play? Um, nagano na ako, swimming, billiards, ah. and yun, mga takbo-takbo, ganyan. Rugby, na try mo na? Ah, uh, first time mo yun. Pero nakakapanood ka ng rugby sa TV. Oo oh, naman. So may idea ka ako. Pero sobrang bilis ito tumakbo eh. Oo, oh, siguro. <laughs> I don't think Nico will have a difficult time yeah. today. So I'm sure, Nico, excited ka na to try out a new sport, something that you probably have not tried out before. So let's cut to the chase and get to know this sport that we're going to tackle for today. And it's called Touch Rugby. Derived from rugby football, touch rugby is a fast and action-packed team sport which is played similarly to rugby, but without any of the tackling. Touch rugby was first used as a training method for rugby players, as it's a safer version, particularly if you want to avoid a serious injury before an actual game. The rules of touch rugby are simple, and the goal is to score a try by grounding or placing the ball over the opposing team's try line or end zone. The game is often played informally, much like pickup basketball, and instead of tackles, players try to touch their opponents on any part of their body, clothing, or even the ball to simulate tackles. In lieu of tackles and scrums, ball possession gets handed to the other team when a penalty occurs, when a pass is dropped, or when the ball goes out of bounds. And to help us learn the basics of touch rugby, we will be joined by Coach Steve Dodd and Coach Craig Wislat from the Philippine Touch Football Team. Good afternoon, welcome to Game Day Weekend. Afternoon, thank you. Hi. Coach, obviously the first question is, what is touch rugby? How different is it from conventional rugby? Um, I think it's pretty much a simplified version of um, rugby league, okay. where teams have a certain amount of chances to make ground in their possession and to try and score a touchdown. Okay. In terms of the differences between touch and, and rugby, there's, a, there's still contact, but it's not as physical. Okay. But otherwise, in terms of rules and everything else, it's the same. A lot of the structures Pretty became much, similar, yes. yes. Okay. So how many minutes in a match and how many players and uh, how do you score? <laughs> uh, so in a, in a regulation match there's 20 minutes mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, 20 minutes of each half going either way and you swap around at half time. To score uh, you basically have to avoid all of the other players without being touched and oh, then put okay. the ball over a designated line mm -hmm. and that's, that's the touchdown. On a team, on an international team, you have 14 players uh, who continually roll as subs. So Ooh. six on the field at once, and the other eight continually roll as subs. So when you get tagged by someone, do you have to stop, or can you still move a few meters or so? Pretty much you get the ball down as quick as you can. Because when a touch has been made, the defending team have to retire between five and 10 meters before they, before they can play again. So all of the all of the defending team has to move back once the okay, touch so has been made. If they touch me and yep. I put it down, yep. who can get the ball? Is it my opponent or my teammate? Any one of your Anybody. team. Any one of your no, no, of your team. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's 
it's you know it's yeah, not it's not like um, American football yeah. where the opponent can get the ball. Yeah, because in, in conventional rugby, even if you get tackled, you can. Just yeah. swing the ball to the. Yeah, that's right. Is that right. the right term? Or pass. pass the ball pass. to But how do you teammate? steal? How do you steal? You don't essentially steal. No, uh, the game goes uh, okay. until you complete six touches, and then you turn the ball over to the other team, and then they would attack. Or if you drop the ball, you make a mistake, then the other team gets possession of the ball to start. Again. Okay, so the goal is to really touch. Not not steal, not not mm. score a goal. You can't go and steal. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> you can't go and steal the ball right. off someone. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. How fit do you have to be? Because I'm 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 assuming this is this is a major um, uh, sport for fitness. I, you know, we see a lot of them who are very bulky and all that. Do you have to be that? At the introduction level, at the beginner level, you don't have to be that fit at all. Uh, the game is a lot slower. Perfect. Oh, sorry. But, <laughs> sorry. Yeah, great for you. Sorry, sorry. 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 <laughs> at the at the international level, you have to be extremely fit and you have to have great agility. So speed, agility, mm -hmm. and a, a good base of aerobic endurance. The international game is uh, amazing in terms of the the body structure and also the speed at which it was played, we uh -huh. had our eyes open to how fast the game, the international game actually is. Is this sport more for women since it's a, it has less contact? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, the, the great thing about touch is even at the international level they have mixed teams. Okay. Uh, so men, men and women, three three and three, they, oh. they play at the same time. And this is international level. Great. So you have the best players from around the world, men or women, it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. So coach, what's our challenge for the day? Challenge for today? Yeah. Yeah. He's the athlete. Yeah. 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 Alright, he's a that's all right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Today, <laughs> today, learn the basics and score some touchdowns. Learn the basics touchdowns. and score some touchdowns. Come on, let's go! But guys, but, but before we run off and hit the field, we're going to take a quick break first. Um, will we succeed in conquering touch rugby? We'll find out when game day weekend returns.